Good evening. Here I am playing Dying Light. The reason why I'm making this video is to show you a very easy way to get a lot of agility very quickly. Um, I'm going to go for, let's say, over 4,000 uh, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, uh, now, one of the things I'll mention is you, you will need to have a free running expert to get this amount of experience every single time you jump up on this. Um, but either way, you're still going to get a lot of experience for doing this very quickly. Um, now, here is uh, one of the requirements. Um, it has to be at night because you get double XP, of course. Um, I'd recommend using my Eternal Night exploit. Um, I might put a uh, an annotation so that you can tell, you know, uh, I guess, uh, the, the way that you get that started so you can very easily do this for as long as you want without having to go to a bed. But in case you don't want to do that, there is a bed right here so you can rest and have it be night and come right back out here. Um, if you're looking for survivor experience, of course. But either way, um, we're looking for a train car that is open. Um, and uh, the one that works really well, or the one that I found that works really well, is right here. Again, next to a safe house in case you don't want to use the Eternal Night exploit, um, in case you're farther in your game and whatnot. Uh, but either way, here's the tower, here's the uh, safe house there, and here's the train car. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to do it first. Now, um, uh, okay, let's hear. Uh, basically, if I jump into the car, it gives me 40 experience for my agility. If I jump and climb up on the car, it gives me 60. With those two things combined, 40 and 60. So as I jump into the car, it uh, it gives me the 40. But then as I climb the car, it gives me 60. So I'm getting 100 every single time I do this. Sometimes it only gives me 40, 40. But either way, I'm going to show you uh, just how easy it is to get that 4,000 experience um, just by doing this. Now, it, it does get a little bit repetitive, so I mean, there might be some people who would say, oh, but I'd much rather just run around and stuff. Well, the reason why I'm doing this, because I want to, you know, level up so quickly, is because, uh, oh, see, that one only gave me 60. Didn't do it right. I found that sometimes jumping at an angle works a little bit better, um, and then it seems to give me a little bit more. I'm not sure why, but, oh, see, that time it only gave me the 40 because I jumped in. <laughs> um, but either way, um, oh, and see, that one only gave me 60. Oh, well. Either way, I should probably stop trying to talk and show you uh, that, uh, show you how to do it, and just keep on doing it. But um, um, either way, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, I can't get the cor uh, the quarantine zones completed, or I have them all completed. And oh, that's another thing I want to mention is uh, if you jump up on the train car too quickly, it won't give you experience for it. Um, oh, this is another benefit of having the uh, having it be right here is uh, there's UV light basically almost all around me, so the uh, volatiles will run away. Um, yeah, see if you jump up too quickly, then it, uh, it doesn't give you, the, give you the points because it says, hey, wait, you just climbed up on that. You're not going to get points for jumping up on that again. But if you just give it a second on the ground, it keeps on giving it to you. So uh, let's see here. Well, it looks like I'm getting there. But uh, as I was saying, um, I can't get the, uh, the trespassing trophy. Uh, regardless of what I do, I mean, so I'm basically starting over, and I'm gonna like try and run through the entire up. See, they're only give me 40, 40 that time. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try and run through and get um, let's see 40, 40 again. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try and get the all of the quarantine zones all at once. Oh, see, that time I jumped up too quickly. It didn't give me anything. See, even with mistakes, I'm still doing this very, very quickly. Um, so, let's see here. I might even, you know, I, I thought of this before I started the video. I might actually put the, uh, um, like, you know, an easy 4,000 uh, agility XP in, and then however long it takes me to do this. Because this is actually going to be a good baseline. Because, I mean, I've made a couple mistakes jumping in. I've gotten no experience a couple times. So, it's, I think it's a, a really good baseline for getting, you know, four, you know, over four grand in however long this takes me. But let's see here. Almost there. There we go. And look at that. Let's just go one more for good measure so that I can most definitely have... See, there we go. I got over 4,000 experience because I started out at... Uh, uh, it was 10,280 or something like that. So there you go. Over 4,000 experience. And, and I'll put the amount of minutes it took me from there to there because I didn't time it. But either way, uh, hopefully this helps. Um, I know that... Uh, um, I know that it's really helped me out because I've been trying to level up my character and it's probably just been over like maybe six hours and I've gotten, you know, this amount of stuff um, from scratch. But uh, 
But either way, it's uh, it's a much faster way of getting your agility level up rather than just running around, because uh, you get 100 XP every single time you jump in there. So uh, yeah, again, hopefully this helped, and uh, just remember, if it wasn't evening when you watch this, it's always evening where I am.